Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. It's Tuesday. It's time to talk about some new releases coming out this Friday, February 24th. There's about uh, just shy of 600 albums coming out. I got 12 on the list for today, though. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist that we put together, and also the Patreon page. Make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoy the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so notified every time I release new episodes. So like I said in the intro, there's almost 600 albums coming out this week. I got 12 on the list today. So something I don't talk about on the show, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else you're looking forward to this week. And uh, of course, you know, like, like every week, if there's something I talk about on the show today and you're not able to find it in your local brick and mortar record stores, uh, all these will be available online. I'll put links down below for those. The first one is a great EP by a great band. This is a Pope Star by Ghost, first released back in 2016. It's a five-song EP. It's on Milky Clear Vinyl, and it is the indie exclusive version. Ghost, over the last, uh, they've been releasing these indie exclusives. they got a couple more that's coming out over the next month or two. Uh, this is going to run you 23 bucks online. Square Hammer, which is the first track on the EP, is the only original track. All the other four are all, are, uh, all covers. They're all fantastic, though. I really do love this EP. I just picked this up as part of the Meliora Deluxe version that just came out uh, last month, I think it was. So if you got that, you already have Pope Star. But if you don't, and you don't have Pope Star, it's definitely one to pick up. Like I said, 23 bucks is not a bad price, and uh, it, I think anything by Ghost is great, but this this is a really fantastic uh, EP. And then you've also got the Warrant Dog Eat Dog reissue coming out this week. This was first released back in 92. It's Warrant's third studio album. This is on a translucent blue and red marble vinyl. It's already 40 bucks online. It is an MOV release. And it's a reissue of what MOV released last month. The one last month, I want to say it was yellow and black marble, I think. And it uh, was limited to like 1,500 or 2,000 copies. This one's going to be limited to 2,500 copies. And it, uh, if you're unfamiliar with, with, with Dog Eat Dog, and all you've ever heard is just Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich and Cherry Pie, uh, you know, Doggy Dog's a different kind of album. By 1992, music had kind of uh, evolved for sure, you know, with the, adv you know, w with the release of grunge and everything like that kind of taking over music. But, you know, Warrant didn't go that far off the track. They definitely evolved. It's a different different kind of sound than the first two albums. But, uh, like, it's, it's just a really great album, really underrated album. And uh, one, like I said, if you're unfamiliar with it, definitely worth checking out. Another really underrated 90s album is getting reissued this week. This is Naughty by Nature, 1993. First release back in 1993. It's uh, their second studio album. It's their, of course, their 30th anniversary. It's a double LP. It's on orange vinyl. It's going to rate about 30 bucks online. They, uh, of course... OPP, which is on their first album, was a hu first like huge hit. Really kind of broke them out into the the mainstream. But I think uh, 1993, like overall, is a much better album than their debut. Uh, Hip Hop Hooray was the track that really kind of anchored this album. And uh, like I said, for 30 bucks, I don't think it's a bad one to to pick up if you see it in your local stores. And then you've also got uh, No Effects double album being released this week. Uh, this was first released back in December of last year. It's No Effects's 15th studio album, follow-up to a uh, single album that's, that came out back in uh, 2021. Uh, and this was the first time it's been available on vinyl since it was released. And when, it, when it came out last December, it was only digital and CD. You know, I'm a big No Effects fan. I have been for a long time. I really did not like single album. And uh, I, I know double album has been out for a while, and I've had it pre-ordered since it first came out so i'm gonna wait and kind of i i guess kind of hold my judgment until I, I listen to to double album but uh you know right now i don't think my expectations are all that high but for 18 bucks i think this is a really you know if you are a no effects fan um you know it, it's one definitely worth checking out i actually pre-ordered the deluxe version of, of double album off of uh, no effects's website actually it's off of fat records the packaging goes with single album and then there's also another album that they're getting ready to release later this year that kind of fits in all that packaging that uh, comes with that deluxe version so i don't know we'll, we'll see that what that looks like when it comes out maybe i'll do uh, a video or talk about it in one of the videos because i think it could be some kind of interesting packaging that uh, no effects is doing 
So I don't remember if it was last week or the week before that uh, A Divine Symmetry, An Alternate Journey Through Hunky Dory. I had to read the title because I'm never going to remember that off the top of my head. There was a, a four CD and a Blu-ray box set that came out uh, within the last couple of weeks. Well, this week you're getting the vinyl companion piece for that uh, that box set. This is going to run you at 24 bucks online. And this has 12 early demos, alternate mixes that are all included in that uh, that bigger box set. I'm a... Uh, I, you know, I'm a David Bowie fan, kind of a casual David Bowie fan, but uh, Hunky Dory is a fantastic album. If this uh, stuff's available online, I'll definitely stream it and check it out. And then you've also got the the new album from Gorillaz coming out this week. This is Cracker Island. It's their eighth studio album. It's going to run you 24 bucks online, so I don't think uh, not a bad price at all for uh, for a new release. There's collaborations from Stevie Nicks, Thundercat, Tame Impala, Bad Bunny. Back and there's a bunch of other ones on there too. So you know another album that uh, I'll you know I'll stream it and check it out. I think there's also I think there's an Amazon exclusive that I think is blue, and uh, I think there might be also a uh, indie exclusive on that release also. So five seconds of summer released five SOS five last summer, and then the vinyl version of it. Well, I want to say it came out last fall, maybe later part of last year when the the vinyl version came out, and then there was also a deluxe version that came out with some extra tracks. The deluxe version is being reissued this week. Uh, 5 SOS 5 is uh, 5 Seconds of Summer's fifth studio album. It's a double LP. LP. It's on white vinyl. Like I said, it is the deluxe version. comes with a die-cut uh, cover. Looks kind of cool if you're a 5 Seconds of Summer fan. Um, you know, It's definitely definitely one to check out. It's going to run you 40 bucks online, which I think is a, a little pricey, but uh, I guess that's kind of where vinyl records are at these days and you also got aha hunting high and low the big six lp box set coming out this friday this includes the 2015 remastered version of the album uh, lp is two and three are demos from 82 to 84 uh, lp five and six are singles extended versions and b-sides and then lp six is early mixes of those tracks so like I said, if you're an AHA fan, it's the only AHA album I've ever heard. It's the only one I actually own. Um, you know, it's probably worth streaming for. It's going to run you 106 bucks online, so I think it is kind of pricey for for that album. Even though, like I said, it is a six LP set. I think that uh, I'm not sure how popular in 2023 AHA is, but if there is an album worth picking up, it's definitely going to be that one. I will say this also includes a 64 page book, so. Uh, no, no, no. If you, like I said, if you're a fan of that album, definitely keep your eyes out for it. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know I'm a big jazz fan. Art Blake, he's one of my favorite jazz musicians of all time. You know, from the late 50s through the, you know, the mid to late part of the 60s, he just released some absolutely great jazz music. Well, this week you got Art Blakey, Essential Works, 1954 to 1960 coming out. So it was a great period in his career. Uh, it's going to run you 48 bucks online. This is a compilation of just some a, a lot of his great tracks over that period. The only thing is about this release, this is from a label called Digger's Factory. I've never heard this label before. You can drop me a comment down below if you know anything about them. I guess I could have went on Discogs and looked up some reviews. And that's probably a good way to, to if you're unfamiliar with a label, Discogs is a great place to, to re read reviews and see what kind of releases they put out. So just kind of be warned with that one. And then you've also got Steel Panther on the Prowl. This is their new album coming out this week. It's their sixth studio album. It's going to be on Purple Vinyl. I think I saw another version of it somewhere else. I don't remember if it was uh, it was another color. There's, there's an, another color variant out there. It's going to run at 18 bucks online. If you're unfamiliar with, with who Steel Panther is, it's... They're one of those, it's a glam metal band, you know, very reminiscent of a lot of the hair metal stuff you see, you know, or, or you or you saw or listened to back in the uh, in the 80s. But it's got kind of a comedic edge to it. They're, they're kind of funny. I, you know, I like a couple other tracks, but I'm not a huge fan. I'll at least stream that one and check it out, though. A band that we talked about on the channel here within the last month or two as like a great, really good up-and-coming rock band. One to kind of keep your eyes on. Uh, they're releasing a live album this week. It's actually their first live album ever. This is Wukon, live at uh, Deutschland Funk. This was recorded September 10th, 2021 at the Blues Garage in Germany. Like I said, it's their first uh, ever live album. It's uh, 13 tracks on two LPs. It's going to be 33 bucks online. Like I said, if you're unfamiliar with who, who uh, Wukon is, definitely uh, check them out online. I do like a lot of their stuff. And then you've also got the last one I got on the list is Lucero's new album, Should Have Learned By Now. It's their 12th studio album. I'm... <sighs> 
to be completely honest, I'm not a huge, huge fan of Lucero. I'll, uh, I definitely need to kind of go back and check out a lot of their stuff. Let's get ready to 23 bucks online. Um, you know, I know a couple people that are huge fans of their music, but, uh, for one reason or another, I think I've only heard maybe two or three tracks from the band. So, you know, I'll add, definitely add that to the list to check out this week. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Like I said, there's uh, almost 600 titles coming out this week. I only talked about 12 on the show today, so make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else you're looking forward to. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.